A push for crime prevention in a Northside neighborhood. Tonight, Sheriff Williams and dozens of police officers took to the streets of Panama Park. They went door to door, listening to residents' concerns in hopes of building relationships with the community. The Sheriff's Office has done many similar neighborhood walks over the years. Channel 4's Nicole Snyder is joining us live. Nicole, was there any particular reason why Panama Park was chosen for this walk? Tom, police picked Panama, Panama Park mainly because of the crime that's happening in that area. We did a crime mapping here on JSO here. It disappeared just a second ago for our live shot, but it had a circle of a mile radius here in the last three months. You can see some of the numbers over here of what some of those crimes are, including two murders and five aggravated assaults, among dozens of other crimes that are concerning citizens. It's a promise Sheriff Mike Williams has made to the community that he will do anything to cut down on crime in Jacksonville. I think it's amazing. I really do because now it makes me look at a cop a little bit different um, because a lot of times I think they're not wanting to do anything as much as we complain about it, but now it makes me feel like they're actually wanting to take a stand and help out the neighborhood. Samantha Lanning says she's lived across from Panama Park for two years now, but the crime has quickly become worse in the past couple of months. There were two murders in the area. A 62-year-old cab driver, Melvin Wright, who was found shot to death in his car. An 18-year-old is charged with his murder. And 33-year-old Maurice Sutton, who was found shot to death in the parking lot of a daycare near Panama Park in mid-January. His killer is still on the loose. We have to get involved in the lives of young people early. Keep them off the street corner so they never meet a gang member, they never meet a drug dealer, and they never go down that path. And there are a lot of people doing that work in the community, and, and, and I support every bit of it. Along with financial help from the city to put more officers on the streets, Sheriff Mike Williams says it's more about getting the community to back law enforcement. Engage you in the community is a, is a huge piece in the reduction of violent crime. So we're going to continue to talk more and more about that in the months to come. Uh, but we've got to have a day-to-day -day working relationship with the community to really get us ahead of this issue once and for all. Yes, sir. State Attorney Angela Corey was also there to show her support and share with neighbors her commitment. There are a lot of families holding out for hope, and I would just say that we're never going to give up seeking justice for you and your families. And if you're interested in looking up your address on that crime map for JSO, we have that link on our website as well as how you can become part of the Crime Watch neighbor in your neighborhood. I'm Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.